All right, I'm going to go over to quad tessellation. We're going to grab this cube here. As you can see, we got six faces on this cube. And we can also tessellate it here. And this adds faces. And we're going to abort that. And that's one way of adding uh, polygons without smoothing it. And another way is to select face mode, control A. And we're going to use quad tessellation. And that's another way without smoothing. It's control Z this. Now as you can see here we got uh, six faces here. And when we subdivide it once it'll quadruple it. So it'll be times four. So six times four will be 24 faces when I do it one time. As you can see it says smoothing. This is what happens when you do this. When I collapse to DG. Sometimes this number 24 won't show up until you collapse to DG. Let's control Z this here. And um, as you notice here, it got real smooth. But if I would tessellate this by control A here and add some more before I smooth it, it'll keep its shape next time I subdivide it. Alright, let's add some more to it. Control A and subdivide it again. As you can see, it's, it's holding its shape better. Control Z that. Control A again, and we'll do it again. As you can see here, it's helped maintaining its shape. But we're also using the smoothing. Um, the more uh, polygons, uh, it's going to be harder for it to smooth. And this could be a problem when you're doing certain things. We'll go ahead and select the circle here. And I'll bring this here and I'll bring this down just a little bit and validate this. I'll just drag this out here and as you can see this is real faceted looking. I'll control C and control V this and we'll bring a copy over here. Alright, now we're going to compare one with smoothing and one with tessellation. Alright, I'm going to smooth this here. And you can see it's pretty smooth when I subdivide it. It's got the word smoothing. Okay, now I'm going to tessellate this one. Before I do it, I'm going to smooth it once. Looks pretty smooth right there. Alright, let's control Z that and bring it back to zero. And... I'm going to select the face here, control A that, quad tessellate it, and when I smooth it, it's going to try holding its shape a little bit better because I'm adding faces to it. So, as you can see, now it's really getting faceted looking. So, I control Z that, and I'll even add even more faces to this. Let's go ahead and do this a couple times. Or once, control A, and do it again. Now you can see it's really rigid here. When I subdivide it, it doesn't matter how much I got here. It's got a lot of polygons and it's going to try keeping that facet look to it. So, there are certain things that we can do to fix that if you don't want to do that. Is next time if you have a circle here. There's a couple options you can do. One is to uh, go ahead and add quite a few uh, points to it and validate it. And we'll drag this out. And so you can see it's not too bad, but if you want to start off with a little bit of smoothing, select it once, collapse to DG, then start working it from it there. That way you kind of be ensured that you're not going to get that facet look. Um, there's all kinds of techniques. And we'll go over that one more time. And I'll just bring a cube out here. And control C, control V. Quad tessellate that. 
just so you can get the idea here. Control A, quad test like that. Control C, Control V. Control A, quad test like that. Now I'm going to uh, select all these here. And we'll group these. And you can see with the quad tessellation, none of them are smooth. And watch what happens when I select this one. As you can see, the one with the less tessellation gets more rounder. The more tessellation, more it holds its shape. And I hope that made sense. Thank you very much. Alright, let me just go back over this uh, faceting uh, so you can understand it one more time. Is uh, When you start off with the faceting and you, you add polygons to it without smoothing, it's going to help maintain its shape and if it starts off looking faceting or facet or whatever you call it, it's going to try keeping that same facet look. So if I subdivide it here, it's going to be smooth and uh, we're going to turn it back to zero and it's got that faceting look. Control A that. This is going to add uh, polygons without smoothing it and we'll do it one more time. Now since it started off with that faceting look, it's starting to tighten it up. Uh, I'm not going to be able to smooth it now very good because uh, it's trying to help maintain that facet look. So if I kick this way up to two, as you can see, it's got that rigid look to it. So it's up to you uh, how do you want to add your smoothing to it. So we'll control Z this couple times. And what I usually do is to, um, you can add more points when you start, like I said. Let me turn this up here, right? Which will give it a smoother look. Or, we'll just subdivide it. DG. You can see it needs another one there, so you pretty much get the idea. So thank you very much, and I hope you understood that.